A long time ago, in a faraway place, a young man picked up a drum and the instrument was born. The steel pan is the only acoustic musical instrument invented in the 20th century. There is nothing like the sound of a steel pan to evoke sea, sand, beautiful Caribbean weather, palm fringe beaches and a laid back lifestyle. Certainly, the sound of the pans is is very unique and very diff very different to um, to any other instrument. Um, and I also feel that um, a lot of the young and up and coming pan arrangers and composers are trying to create fresh and new, exciting um, sounds um, all the time. So yes, yes, I think uh, there's a lot of uh, new, fresh, and, and innovative ideas coming forward um, in the pan world these days. The Republic of Trinidad and Tobago consists of two islands in the Southern Caribbean which cover an area of 5,128 square kilometres. The islands became an independent nation from the United Kingdom in 1962. It was here on two of the most beautiful islands lying in the Caribbean Sea off the northeast coast of Venezuela where everything got started. Aus unserer Heimat, die Karibik, Gäste mitgebracht. Freuen Sie sich mit uns auf The Original Trinidad Show and Steel Band. What I was told about the invention of the instrument is that during the Tambu bamboo days, people used to get different lengths of bamboo and they would knock them on the road and they would hold it with the two hands and knock it on the road and keep a rhythm going. And during that time, this uh, young person, I don't know who the name is, uh, got a, a small drum and joined the tambu bamboo band and he tied a bit of cloth around his hand and he was play, hitting the surface of it and was getting a boom song. Um, after a while he got tired and gave to another person to play. But while that other person was playing it, the surface went in and it lost the boom song. So he gave it back to the young fellow and the young fellow took it, the, drum some place and push the surface back out and by pushing it out he didn't push it out evenly and he ended up where he was getting two different songs 
So he got excited and he joined back the bamboo button and he tell them, he say, oh, look, look, I've tuned the boom, I've tuned the boom. He's getting two different songs. So from that time, everybody started to, uh, to get the small drum and to separate it. And they call it the tune boom, which today it's called the doodoop. Exactly the same thing. <clears throat> so by he getting two notes, other people decide, oh, I will try to get three, and so on. And, and who got three, uh, 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 the other people tried to get four and five and six notes. Eventually, what happened, they run out of surface to, to, to get uh, a lot of notes. So they decided it was to move on to the, the abandoned oil drums. And in those days, I think they used to, instead of sinking it concave like this, they used to push it out convex. And uh, they used to tune it. But after a while, somebody thought, well, let me see if I can push it the other way. And by pushing it the other way, you now they managed us to get different notes in different places. Eventually what happened that somebody decided, okay, he will try to play a tune. And the first tune I understand that was played on, on the, the pan with, with just three notes was Mary Had a Little Lamb, which is a nursery rhyme. And, and um, the pan just evolved, uh, everybody, you know, trying to add in that note and this note, so then they might try to play a tune and realize that oh, I haven't got this note, so they, they'll find some place to put a note that they can play the tune. The early development of the steel pan took place in the decades of the 1930s and 1940s. In the beginning, the instrument consisted of one resonance body only. However, later some pioneers got involved by developing note by note. Winston Spree Simon, Bertie Marshall, Anthony Williams and others are pioneers. Anthony Williams, I uh, met him uh, two years ago. I was in Trinidad and I wanted us to meet him for a long time. Because uh, he is the, the pioneer of the fourth and fifth band. Uh, he, when I was speaking to him and asking him uh, <coughs> how did he come up with the idea of the, the fourth and fifth, he said, he said, oh, well, when God gave me the vision, you know, on putting the, the notes in the cycle of fourth and fifth, you know, I just went and I, I did it and I realized that it was a much better instrument to understand and to play. You know, you have uh, other people who's making claims that they invented it and uh, make me lose all respect for them. You know, people who have contributed a lot to Pan, but you cannot go around in public and stand on a podium making these false claims. You know, it is wrong, because if God did not pass it on through you to give it to your fellow men, you shouldn't lie about it, because that's you're trying to, to rob the fellow, but you're robbing yourself. You cannot steal from God, but God has passed on through anybody else. Mm. That's why I so much wanted was to meet Anthony Williams. And he was also talking about when God gave him the second vision about uh, making the pan sound like strings. Because there was a particular tune in the recording called the wedding and if no one told you that it was pan playing in the background you would definitely say it was violins that was playing and um, then you can hear what I'm talking about he was uh, far advanced in tuning technique than any other tuner that I know you know if maybe I dream I could even tune a quarter like how, how we, he could you know, I don't mind if people call me great, but I'm not great yet. <laughs> in 1951, Edric Connor arranged for the Trinidad All-Star Percussion Orchestra TASPO to be the first steel band to travel to Britain to take part in the Festival of Britain at the newly opened South Bank Complex. 
there were 12 panis selected from over 70 steel bands across Trinidad. Ebony is 40 years old. I believe they began in 1969. Other bands from Trinidad got invited to the UK roughly in the 1960s. So ever since then, in London, Pan has been popular in primary schools and is now going up into secondary schools and universities. In the 1950s it started with a band coming from Trinidad called TASPO, uh, which is uh, TASPO means Trinidad All Percussion Steel uh, Orchestra. And they, they picked uh, some of the best players from the different bands and sent them to England in the 50s. And some of the, the players stayed and some went back to Trinidad. And, and um, this is uh, what I know that um, uh, about the, the band coming to, to England in, in the 50s. Steel pans are built using sheet metal with a thickness between 0.8 mm and 1.5 mm. Traditionally, steel pans have been built from used oil barrels. Nowadays, many instrument makers do not rely on used steel containers and get the resonant bodies manufactured according to their preferences and technical specifications. In a first step, the sheet metal is stretched into a bowl-like shape. This is commonly known as sinking. Today we're making a steel pan. Um, it's called a tenor pan. A C pan actually, not a D pan, a C pan. So we're going to start stretching the metal from outside. Come into the inside. So I'll just demonstrate. You just continue the same thing from outside till we reach in the middle and then we start getting a shape. 
make me move a bit faster. <laughs> Doing this process, you make all the crease flat. metal kinking it's like doing this and then afterwards it break so you got to keep all the the surface of the metal Marking out the notes, start preparing, and then start looking to burn and chew. This is the actual process of sinking for a tenor pan. The stage now you reach after from sinking, you put all your notes in, and the next stage, The next stage after this is preparing, which meaning hammering here, hammering here, hammering here, pushing back, pushing back to get the shape of the notes. Oh, this is like asking, you know, how many branches is on a tree? <laughs> you know, it's difficult to... Sometimes I could spend five minutes on a note and it, it, it happens. And then again, Another pan do exactly the same note, you find that it takes hours. It just isn't settling in. And sometimes I have to just put it away and maybe a few months' time come back to it and don't know something happens to the material that uh, all of a sudden it happens. Or sometimes I might just have a bad day and it just isn't working at all. Now um, the instrument has become more sophisticated. We have to get a, a true note like a piano, like C on, on this pan would be exactly the same C on the piano, and A A440, which is this A here. And, um, the notes on the pan is identical to what is on the piano, so the pan can be played with uh, conventional instruments also. Right, and there are different types of pans. This one is what they call the tenor. This is one, one that plays the, the melody. Right. Um, then they have the, the, what they call double seconds that uh, plays uh, uh, harmonies and melody as well. The net got the double tenors, the, the guitar pans, which some, some of them are double and some is triple pans. Then they got the cellos, which is four pan. And they got tenor bass, they got quadraphonics. Quadraphonics is four pan. Lowest note is from B and they got three of every note. And they got the basses. Some people use six, some use seven. 
a music 12 in a big orchestra you would find that um, there'd be a mixture of basses which is six and sevens and nines and twelves you know so um, it, it depends on what you're looking for in a steel band or a steel orchestra and a steel band in, in Trinidad can uh, sometimes you have more than 150 people practicing, but it's only 120 allowed to play. So it's quite a, a very, very uh, big song and exciting for the players. band it's not totally standardized so in ebony we've got a seven note bass we've got a tenor bass we've got the four pan cello the three pan guitar double seconds double tenor and tenors those are our main pans we have extras such as the quads a triple seconds and a nine bass so that's, it, in each band it's totally different some people have double guitar and some bands have a single guitar or a single second. Some bands have um, a low tenor pan. It's just, it's totally not standardized, not in any country at all. Because we've got different types of pans, we've got the bass, low notes and we got the tenor which plays the high notes or melody if you want. They have different types of sticks. So with the bass pans tend to be just these rubbers, big rubber balls on wooden dowel. And with the middle pan, so the sticks are getting smaller, they're getting real small and the circumference is getting smaller. And this is the double second stroke double tenor. So totally different size from big to small. And the last one for the melody pan, the tennis sticks. It's all wood and some rubber. We have a few techniques on the pan. So when you're dropping, we tend to just drop like that on the note in the middle because the, no the notes are, the notes are dented on the pan. There, and there are many notes on just one pan. So we have to hit the middle of each note to get the right sound. The bass notes have big, 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 big round notes, so you have to, it's easy to hit, easier to hit compared to the small tenor pans where the notes are that small. And that's what the small sticks are for. So you can hit the pans or what we call drop, just dropping a note, it's just like that, or we roll where we're just moving our hands backwards and forwards simultaneously. Really, it's, it's up to the, in, if the individual player wants to get better, then there's about scales and arpeggios that you can practice, which will help you understand your pan, understand music, etc. And then you just learn a song. You can, um, you can use the um, different pans to play with, um, you can have a choir singing along to a steel band. Um, there is, um, we've got the engine room, which is a, a, a pan jazz sort of um, ensemble which uses um, pan and voice and keyboard and guitars and, and drum kit and is a fusion of different types of, of sounds and styles of music that aren't the, your typical steel band sound or st uh, steel band music. So there are lots of different um, ways of um, integrating the steel pans into lots of different styles of music. So.
several years of experience tell, tells you, um, tells me there are some tuners who cannot work with this size of notes. They prefer a bigger note. But I, over the years, I get used to working with that size. I, probably when I first started, it was too big, and then when I look at the, the hammering around the, the area, I realize that okay, I could make the notes smaller and get a better quality sound faster. Because if I make it too big, I still have to beat around the area to, to reduce it to the size. So therefore, the, the separation of the note with the center punch is of none effect. Because the, by thinning the area around the note act as a suspension on a loudspeaker. Today, bands continue the tradition of steel pan music in England and have developed a music pride. Every year, panists look forward to carnival and in particular to the National Panorama Competition. been a steel pan festival in this country for quite some years. I think the last one was um, back in the 1980s, um, possibly the early 90s. Um, um, we don't have um, steel band festivals as such in this country now, but what we do have, um, we do have other different types of um, steel band events. We have our, our Panorama, which is a big um, uh, competition that we um, we have a lot of the big steel bands take place and um, part in. Uh, that is um, that is um, up at uh, Hyde Park, and that takes part uh, place at the the Saturday just prior to the Notting Hill Carnival, and um, we have that every year. We also have um, Pan Explosion, which is um, a competition for smaller um, smaller pan sides, and that is set up for um, primarily for to encourage young people in pan to um, develop their musicalities to arrange and compose um, their own pieces and uh, that happens we, we try and house that all over the country and get different bands and performers to take part in that and usually we have that every year as well so um, we don't have the, the festival so much but we have other um, competitions now instead.